What's up everyone, Nick here with my trailer breakdown for the Wonder Woman official trailer number one. Now of course we got the Comic Con trailer a few months ago and that one was more so like subdued and kind of just focusing on the actual footage rather than story and dialogue which this one seemed to focus much more on actually showing us a bit more of what the characters are going to be like, what the action is going to look like, and also hinting at the villains in this one. We get more of the Danny Houston character and the character played by Elena and Naya. Yeah who are a lot of people speculating to be the Duke of Deception and Dr. Poison as the villains in the film. So basically what I'm going to do is just break down this trailer by a few images that I thought were noteworthy and kind of stood out and are giving us some clues of what to look for. Now the first image here is obviously Wonder Woman walking in what I believe is Paris. I think this is where this um, museum is at and she's kind of in the present day obviously and she's giving this voiceover about you know a long time ago I wanted to help the world and that sort of thing. So it seems like this is post BVS and also uh, further down the line in the future. The second image here is actually of Wonder Woman looking at the image that Bruce got for her back in BVS. It's of course the shot of her back in World War One when she first became Wonder Woman and she's kind of reminiscing about what it was like back in those days of her optimism and youth. Also if you actually pay close attention off to the left there's a little slip that says Wayne on it so it's assumed that she's probably in a Wayne building uh, looking at this image here which also lines up with what we've seen of the leaked set images of her getting into a Wayne armored truck. Now the next image here is our first glimpse of Diana back on Paradise Island as she watches Steve Trevor's plane crash into the ocean just off the shore. Now right here we get a glimpse of the beautiful cinematography of the Paradise Island scenes because it really contrasts uh, when you actually look towards the end of the trailer at the World War One stuff there's a very clear division between Paradise Island and the world of men which I actually really like stylistically. The next shot here is of the Germans storming the beach to get Steve Trevor after he's crash landed and then the Amazons fight them and they get their first glimpse of projectile firearms which is what we're talking about in the next shot here when Steve Trevor and Diana are somehow following the trail of a bullet as it flies through the air and hits one of their Amazon warriors which is a little odd to me because they use this whole bullet time thing a couple times in the trailer I'm not really a big fan of it because it seems a bit outdated in my opinion um, however it does look a little cool here though all right so the next shot here is Steve Trevor walking up to what appears to be a chemical plant which as many of you guys know World War One was noteworthy because it introduced chemical warfare and gaseous weapons and that sort of thing. It was a very gruesome war and I'm guessing Steve Trevor is possibly undercover here and investigating what the enemy is up to. Alright the next shot here is of Queen Hippolyta and her daughter Diana in questioning Steve Trevor as he tells them about World War One. I. I like this shot because it establishes that the Queen and you know the hierarchy of their island and stuff like that because I'm actually curious to see how how they portray the Amazons in the movie because I don't think we've ever seen them cinematically so pretty awesome stuff there. The next shot here is of course back in that chemical processing plant uh, where these two guys are looking at this chemical reaction and what's going on with this gaseous material here and I'm guessing they're working for Dr. Poison here who we can see in a little bit. Now the next shot is actually of this helmet and the gas mask and it's showing that the chemicals actually go through the gas mask and affect it and crush the mask. So it seems like Dr. Poison is definitely onto something that will trump even their anti-gas measures. Speaking of Dr. Poison, this shot is our first look at her in this trailer. She's obviously investigating into some research projects and testing out different weapons. And she's probably testing out these weapons for the guy that we see right here, who is of course the Duke of Deception, played by Danny Houston. Now people are speculating that he's Ares, however I don't think that's true because I honestly don't think that they would use Ares this early into the film, or just in general at all, because he's kind of the obvious choice of a villain I think that is really interesting actually that they're using the Duke of Deception because he is a noteworthy villain from Wonder Woman's past and he's actually the first villain that she ever faces when she leaves Paradise Island in the comics so it really lines up and makes sense for the film. Now the Duke of Deception is also a demigod so he does have powers and strength and all that kind of stuff so he can get tossed around like he does later in the trailer. Right here we actually see the character Dr. Poison throwing what appears to be an experimental bomb or some sort of energy based weapon because there's another shot in the trailer where we see this giant tower blowing up in this blue energy light. And the next shot to go over here is actually a comedic one where they play up the whole aspect of, you know, Diana being able to block bullets with her bracers. I actually like this. Um, hopefully they don't go too overboard with the comedy here and there because it might be out of place in the tone and stuff. Um, however, I did actually enjoy this scene. It was really funny how he was like, oh, it's my secretary. She's a very good secretary. I really like that little moment. Now this next shot is, of course, of Dr. Poison once again, and I'm guessing this is towards the end of the film, like during 
during the climactic showdown that she has, or maybe this is like a midpoint fight uh, where she first encounters Wonder Woman, who knows? Pretty cool shot, she's like unmasked almost, definitely fighting against Wonder Woman here, or experiencing some sort of battle. Now the final shot we can talk about here is Wonder Woman using her lasso on what appears to be the Duke of Deception, like I mentioned earlier. There's also another shot in the trailer where she's doing like this spinning kick and hitting a guy that looks kind of like the Duke, but actually slowed it down, and I don't think it is the Duke, it's just a German officer. But right here, she's got the Duke in her lasso, and she is bringing him up and then presumably going to slam him down onto the roof of this building because they're two super-powered beings, you know, they're demigods, so they can handle this kind of rough and tough role. I just hope they don't go overboard with this because some of the trailer parts were worrying me towards the end of the trailer when they kind of divulged in that whole CGI mess of a battle, which is what I didn't like about the Doomsday fight in BVS because it just got too cluttered in my opinion. There was just too much stuff flying around on the screen. Um, hopefully they can keep the scale of this fight down, um, sort of like the Man of Steel fight, but who knows. And anyways, that is all the images that I wanted to go over in this Wonder Woman trailer. Uh, it was overall pretty cool. It didn't grab me like the first Comic-Con trailer did, but I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how this film turns out. So let me know what you guys thought of this trailer down in the comment section below, and who do you think the villains are in the movie? Like I mentioned, I'm pretty sure it's Dr. Poison and the Duke of Deception. Also, if you guys are new to the channel and you like this video, subscribe for more content like this. My name is Nick, and I'll catch you guys next time.